Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising from the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020. I hope you're well at Capricorn. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. This is the Tarot Grand Lux. What do we have for Capricorn please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Now you can probably hear a fan in the background Capricorn, it is, there's a massive heat wave in the UK at the moment, it's so hot, the majority of us don't have air conditioning so the fan is on full. <laughs> We've got the Four of Cups, okay, that is your overarching energy. What do we have please, Angel Spirits Guides? This is the Energy Deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. What do we have for Capricorn please, for the week? <gasps> Lovely, we have Victory. Number 28, Victory. So let's get the cards on the table and we'll come back to them. Message for Capricorn please, Angels Spirits Guides. Thank you balance that is the message from the angels balance okay so Capricorn I pull four cards in the weekly the first card is you second card is your challenge third card is advice from spirit fourth card is your outcome and then we clarify the cards by going deeper into the message it won't resonate with everybody so just always take what resonates with you okay what do we have for Capricorn, please? Okay, interesting. We have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Libra, Taurus energy there. Your challenge, Capricorn, is the King of Cups. Five of Swords is advice from Spirit. <clears throat> Lovely energy at the end, the star, beautiful, card of Aquarius, okay. And that's the Radiant Wise Spirit deck. This is the Tarot Royale by Marchetti, to clarify. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the week. 17th to the 23rd of August, 2020, please. Message for Capricorn, thank you. Four of Cups again, so that's two Four of Cups here. Uh, the King of Wands clarifies the King of Cups as your challenge position. Interesting. Five of Swords, we have the Hermit clarifying this Five of Swords. And the Star Energy Capricorn is clarified by the Six of Cups bottom of the deck I've got the three of wands you know that card just moved so um six of wands below that which is the card of victory again we've got two victory energies here um, at the beginning and end of your reading so there's a kind of message here Capricorn that whatever you've been healing from with this hermit it's almost kind of like that you will overcome it. You will certainly understand how to move on in a situation. Because I feel some of you are in deep thought. Which way do I go? What do I want to do now? Am I bored or emotionally run out in this situation? I feel this could be in terms of relationships in particular, though you could read it for money and career as well. Um, you know, this is somebody who can be bored, apathetic, um, feeling apathy. Um, can also be giving deep thought to a situation in how do I move forward. And that hand of God, well, you generally see the hand of God, the divine, with the, the fourth cup in the sky. There is a cup. Um, your intuition is guiding you forward towards something that is more uplifting. Uh, so, yeah, this is about giving deep thought to a situation. Yeah, in how you move forward, how you need to make decisions, 
how you need to move on from either being bored in a situation or something that has made you feel emotionally wrung out. Because I feel for some of you, you want to get that balance back in your life now. You want to get that equilibrium back in your life. Um, you know, I, there has been something that has unsettled you. And I think you are finding that inner illumination on how you want to move forward. The beautiful message is, you know, this victory card is an internal victory and it's an external victory as well. Let me just read this out to you, Capricorn. Number 28. And this is the Energy Deck by Sandra and Taylor. Really lovely cards, but the book's always a bit fiddly because they're always small. <laughs> okay, we have success and achievement. This card shows a beautiful spirit holding a golden victory wreath in acknowledgement of your achievement. Success is on its way, and you have a sense of pride in what you have worked to accomplish. The, achieve the achievement may be a great outer success, or it may be a deep inner change that you've been exerting a lot of effort towards. Enjoy the sense of accomplishment, but be careful not to rest upon your laurels. People expect outer triumph to bring great changes, but often there may be still inner work to do. Let yourself be open to victory on every level now. Lovely energy. So a beautiful message of, of triumph. I feel for some of you, yeah, lovely, lovely energy. I'm restoring this balance to your life. Okay. I, I feel for some of you, you know, the Queen of Wands and the Empress is female energy and then we have male energy. <laughs> so I kind of feel that this is, um, this is why I'm saying I feel it's a relationship. There is a challenge in a relationship. Uh, and you're just thinking, do I, do I want this anymore? Do I, how do I move forward? Now, like I said, you can read this. The Wands energy can be, and certainly the Empress energy, the Empress can be linked with money areas, can be linked with areas of love as well. So I feel it's the message that matters more, Capricorn. The Four of Cups is the Divine saying, listen to your intuition, listen to your inner knowing, and you will understand how to move forward in a situation. Everything will become clear from within. It's almost kind of like the victory lies within, in how, you know, it's beautiful, it comes from within. Queen of Wands, like I said, I feel that this is, an, this is a, a female energy. Somebody is feeling stuck or feeling emotionally wrong out. Um, and the Queen of Wands is a, is a person of action. Now, she is somebody who is in her power, who listens to her intuition. Remember, she's water and fire. Water, and fi water is that intuitive energy. So she takes action based on her intuition. So I feel this is blinking very nicely with the Four of Cups. This is about taking control of a situation when the Queen of Wands comes on board because she is somebody who is authoritative. She is somebody who is in charge. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful energy. The Empress is embrace the new. So she is about co-creation of the new along with God the Divine, the universe, and you are being told you are being given an opportunity or an idea on how you need to move forward. So some of you may well be considering going down a new path here, uh, starting something new, putting your energy and effort towards something new, and maybe there's some decisive action that you need to take. Um, she is saying that you lack for nothing, you know, she is a, a very full, uh, beautiful, contented energy. Um, you know, this is spiritually, emotionally, physically, you lack for nothing um, to co-create your reality. So she is to do with the birth of something new, the birth of an, an idea, the birth of something to do with money, how you make money, uh, can be to do with new jobs, new business ventures, um, can be to do with love, so love relationships at the birth of something new there but either way you are being told to take charge of something where you really need to give something deep thought and I feel for some of you things are going to become clear this week in how you need to move forward King of Cups is I mean King of Cups with a King of Wands is a male energy um, so like I said I feel that there is 
it feels like there is a, a woman deciding whether or not she wants to either stay in a relationship um, or whether or not she wants to stay in the job that she's in or try a business development or try something new. You kind of get what I'm saying. Um, now, as energies, the King of Cups is somebody who masters their emotions. Um, and the King of Wands is an action energy. He is the opportunist. Um, you know, the kings are the masters of their suit. Um, somebody who understands how to use their power, harness it, take action to bring growth and success, um, things coming to fruition with the King of Wands, can also be in terms of an opportunity. Uh, you might feel that um, you might be waiting for some kind of opportunity to come to you. You know, the King of Wands is, is an action oriented en energy. Keep taking action, keep going. Take the lead in your own life. That is what the King of Wands says. King of Cups is somebody who rises above emotional situations. Um, can well be somebody who is Yeah, you know, if I was reading this as a person, Capricorn, this is somebody who is very charismatic, charismatic the King of Wands. It is the other half of the Queen of Wands. Um, the King of Wands, you know, is somebody who can also keep their emotions close to the chest because they master their suit. They understand how to master their emotions. So you may well find that someone is difficult to read in this situation as well. Maybe the person that you're dealing with in a relationship um, is not being open with you or... Uh, it's difficult to read in, a, in this situation. There is a need with the King of Cups anyway. an energy to master your emotions. That is what the cards are saying. And that is your challenge. Your challenge is, is very much to take action, master your emotions. And that is what the Queen of Wands is telling you to do as well, but based on your instinct. But like I say, I feel this is a female male energy. So I feel it's a relationship too. Five of Swords is conflict, disagreement, arguments, bad feeling, resentment. Yeah. And it's Aquarian energy. You know, the Hermit, Virgo energy. And also we have Scorpio and Leo here as well. The Hermit is somebody who shines the light from within. Now I did say the victory is within. And this is the Hermit energy because it is again where you're finding answers from within on how you need to move forward in your external environment and take action. Very much with that Queen of Wands energy. You're being given the answers and how you need to heal or overcome obstacles. Um, that you're up against, and in this case, it is arguments, bad feeling, bitterness, resentments. Um, you know, there is a victory here, but it comes at a cost. So you need to really ask, because the fives are a really disruptive energy. You need to ask yourself how long you want to stay in this situation. And I feel some of you are asking yourself that. How long do you want to stay in this situation? Where, where is this conflict that you need to heal from? That you need to see way forward from? Because this is something that can go round and round in circles and be very consuming if you're not careful. Six of Cups is a card of, of reconnection. Um, I feel this is reconnection to you because we have the balance card. Now, the sixes in tarot represent equilibrium, harmony. I feel for some of you, this is finding your happy place. Um, yeah, I feel this is reconnecting to who you are, Capricorn, and opening your mind to how you find direction. Um, the Five of Swords is very much when you need to see past the conflict, when you need to get perspective because it's very, very consuming. It's very, very immediate and in your face. The Star Energy is open your mind. It is see the big picture. It is find purpose. There is hope, new hope. There is a new light. There is a new direction that some of you are finding. 
Uh, and I do feel that, you know, this is a liberating energy as well. So I feel for some of you, you're liberating yourself from a situation that has the way you've needed to heal. Because, you know, at the end, I've got the Aries energy. And remember, I did... Oh, interesting. Okay, all right, okay. The cards just literally fell out, so I'm going to... I'll read those too. <laughs> um, the Three of Wands is turning your back pulling a plan into action. The decision that you make with the Queen of Wands, Empress Energy, to embrace the new, this is where you're taking action towards embracing the new, the birth of something new. It promises growth, the beginnings of success. Your ships are beginning to come in. The reward is coming your way. It's not quite there yet in this energy, but it is absolutely coming your way. This is somebody focusing on a new path, a new direction. Now, the Six of Wands, like I said, is triumph. Um, it's achievement, you know, it's one's energy, it's action energy. Uh, it's, it's very much about when you're in your power, when you take action, when you persevere, when you triumph, you know, you, you, you claim the victory. And it's over this, Capricorn. We've got the Three of Swords, deep hurt, deep wounds, truth coming to light, maybe, that might have caused some pain on whatever level. Um, the Three of Swords is a sign that you need to manifest something new. It is still a three, you know? Um, and it's interesting that we've got the two threes here. The Three of Swords, which causes pain and hurt, and the Three of Wands, which brings new growth to a situation. So I feel for some of you, even though you have been in pain, um, been hurt by a situation, you are absolutely taking action towards a new path, putting a new plan into action, a new vision and making it happen and bringing a small level of success your way with the Three of Wands. So there is new growth um, on the back of this. Seven of Swords can be a card of don't hold back, don't stay stuck in this Four of Cups energy. When you feel that you understand or have enlightenment from your intuition on how you need to take action, there is a message you need to take action. But certainly with the Three of Swords, with the Seven of Swords, someone has deceived you. Um, I mean, this can be in the form of letdowns, this can be in the form of uh, lies, lack of truth, stealing, deception, uh, somebody doing things covertly. You kind of get what I'm saying. It's not very nice energy. Maybe some truth has come to light here, Capricorn, that you have needed to heal from, and you're looking at a new path. I feel for some of you, there is such growth, there is such potential um, towards this new path now. Your ships are beginning to come in. The triumph starts from within. That's what the message is here. The triumph comes from within. Um, because it comes from within. It comes from the thought, the direction, and the, the, the way that the universe is guiding you. Um, so it's a beautiful, beautiful energy of you will triumph over this you will come through the other side over this you are absolutely being given blessings by the universe over this um, to reconnect and find happy equilibrium within yourself I feel yeah so it's a beautiful beautiful energy of overcoming and the new I mean we have how many threes is it about four threes four threes three or four threes in this reading um, I mean, that's a really powerful number. You know, the three in tarot is a master number. Um, it means a number of things, and I'm sure some of you already know, but, you know, in tarot, it can be manifesting the new, beginning to make something new happen in your life. So, lovely energy. This is where you're thinking about it, and I feel this is where you're putting this into action. Okay, final message for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides, okay. <laughs> we have Bat. Listen up. You are working through deep soul patterns, release any outdated beliefs that surface. Interesting. So, a lovely, lovely message, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.